Okay, it's about uh, quarter past three in the morning. I've just taken another painkiller, and uh, because uh, the pain is, it, it's all right. The pain's not too bad. Um, I've just had to go for a wee as well, and that's uh, quite a mission. Every time I go for a wee, I have to call Rosie uh, on here, on my little button there, um, and then she comes and helps me to the. Lou, um, I did have oxygen on until until about an hour ago, um, so we had oxygen to take out. Um, I've got I'm st I've still got drains in each boob, uh, if you can see here. She said tube of red stuff coming out of it. Into that. Still got paper pants on. <laughs> uh, so uh, and uh, also as well I've. Uh, I've got these massages on my legs. Um, apparently, when you you have a major operation now, uh, which is his major operation, um, you have to have these flight socks on with your toes exposed. They can still check your your fingernails and check your circulation. And um, these massages kind of put air into into these uh, what look like um, uh, like I should be playing hockey. They look like shin pads. A bit of air into it and it squeezes you, just massages you. Which feels a bit bizarre sometimes because you forget they're on and, and it's something simple, simple will squeeze you. And you're like, who's, who's that? You know, <laughs> it's quite funny. I've still got ice as well. Uh, so we get all this off and Rosie comes in and takes everything off me and wanders behind me holding these drains, which is like a, a bucket of a clear bottle of blood, really. Um, and we go to the loo and she puts them down on the floor and I sit down on the loo by myself. Um, coupled with the fact that I'm actually on my period as well, which is an interesting um, uh, interesting thing to deal with as well. <laughs> but I'm dealing with that okay. I was worried about that, I have to say. Um, so um, now, yeah, the reason I was, I'm, I'm, I was on oxygen is because I walked in and my oxygen was checked at 99, or whatever that means, I don't, I don't know. Somebody out there must, must know what this means. It was 99. And, uh, and then uh, um, uh, it's been about 95, 96. Uh, Rosie's been a bit concerned about that. So, um, uh, but she's happy now. It's sticking at sort of 96 now. So she, she is happy. So we, I've taken, taken the cannula out and I'm, I'm off oxygen. Um, now, uh, the ice. The ice, see here. Yeah. I've been on ice because the one, when I woke up from my, from the anaesthetic, Notice that one boob was considerably bigger than the other, um, and this one was bigger than the other. Um, a surgeon came in and had a look, and I—I um, uh, I mean, it, it was—it was—it was a, a bra size. It was definitely a bra size smaller. This one was, um, but apparently it's because this one was worked on an hour and a half before that one, so it had a chance for the swelling to go down. I'm not—I'm not—I'm not sure if that's. It uh, seems to be the case now because I'm still have ice on, on the boobs. Uh, we're going to have a look um, here. I can maybe see them now. <laughs> so the new boobies. Um, I know it is a bit dark, um, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to bug Rosie again to come and turn on the light so I can make a video. Um, but it seems to be all going going well. Um, uh, aside from a little bit of pain. Um, everything's actually okay. Uh, so um, I'd actually like to show you now um, what my uh, what my boobs look like before. I know I can't show you what they look like now. I don't, I don't even know what they look like now. But um, I'm still getting lots and lots of boys emailing me and texting me, telling me that I didn't need a boob job. And it really is, it, it's, it's upsetting me. So please, guys, if you think this, keep it to yourselves. I have not actually once, not once, had one girl say this to me. You don't need a real job. Boys, it's all you, you know. That must be something to do with the fact that you don't have boobs, you don't understand. You don't understand how, how they make you feel, how, they, how my boobs once were. And I'm trying to wind, up, wind back the clock, so I am actually going to post a picture. Um, I might, it might be on the end of this video, I don't know. But it's upsetting me, guys. Please, you don't understand. It's only you guys that are doing it. And, and uh, I just... It's, I, it's
it's my body. You can say all you want about what you think I should do, but it's my body and how it makes me feel. And please just respect that. You just stand in like fucking meatheads. But girls, thank you so much for your support. I've actually never felt closer to girls in my entire life. Um, and that's because you can relate. And I, and I fully appreciate that. <laughs> all in all, I think it's going really well.